With all of these little action cameras I've been taking a look at, I've had so many of you guys telling me to look at some SJ cams. Well, luckily they just happened to reach out to me the other day and offered to send this out for me to take a look at. This is the SJ Cam M20 Action Cam. Now taking a look at the packaging here, it mentions Wi-Fi, it mentions 30 meters water resistant gyro anti-shake, and 2K 30 frames per second high definition video. However, when you look at the rest of the packaging, at the tech specs on the back, it actually mentions 4K 24 frames per second interpolated video. So presumably it's not full 4K like a lot of the other ones I've looked at, but still, 2K 30 frames a second, 1080p 60 frames a second, it's going to get the job done for a lot of people has a 900 milliamp hour removable battery, micro SD card slot, it says up to 32 gigs selected up to 64 and 128. So presumably up to a 128 gig micro SD card, USB 2, HDMI, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, good stuff. Let's see what's in the box. With the majority of these I've looked at, that's sort of been the biggest thing about it is just all the accessories that are included. So here is the camera and actually, quite a bit of a different design, a departure from the other ones that I've looked at. Because all the other ones have kind of followed that GoPro format, where it's a rectangular box, kind of like this. This one has taken that and kind of flipped it on its side. Not that that's a bad thing. Otherwise, in the box, here's your user manual. Of course, you got all the info in there you'll need. Handlebar mount, more mounts, micro USB charging cable, more mounts, more mounts, clip mount, more mounts, more mounts, several of the 3M sticky pads, microfiber cleaning cloth, some more 3M sticky, and a couple of SJ Cam stickers. All right, I've gone ahead and removed this thing from its waterproof housing. You can see the whole camera here. This is the bright blue color, but over on Amazon, it's also available in black, gold, silver, yellow, and white. So you can kind of get whatever you want there. Just in terms of simple comparison here, this is one of the previous 4K action cameras I've taken a look at. There you go, there's a comparison of the form factor. Of course, this one is meant to be held like this. So it is just a little bit smaller overall. It also mentions in the user manual, it uses a Sony IMX206 sensor. It's got a 166 degree angle field of view. The biggest thing that's throwing me off here is just this 4K 24 frames a second interpolated. One way or the other, the video you're watching right now is 1080p 60, so the sample I'll show from this will be 1080p 60. Taking a look around the camera itself, taking a look at the top, you've got the power button and the shutter button with an LED indicator in the middle. You have up and down buttons, and the up button actually has a Wi-Fi indicator on it and this would appear to be the microphone. Over on the other side, you have mini HDMI, micro USB, and micro SD, and then your display on the back looks relatively small, and the battery door here on the bottom just opens up kind of like that. And it's using an SJ Cam branded 3.8 volt, 900 milliamp hour battery. And unfortunately it is not the same battery as any of the other action cameras that I've used up to this point. I figured with the different form factor, it probably would not be. So that means in addition to not having an external charger, also not going to have any spare batteries for it. But you know what, let's go ahead and power it on. We'll walk through the menus very quickly and then do a quick sample clip. So we'll power it on by holding the power button. Lights up and makes some noise. It says SJ Cam M20 and it says 1080p 60 by default. Looks like the battery is a little bit low. It says there's no storage because there's no card in it. But as you can see, it is showing what's on the other side of the lens. I go ahead and hit the buttons. Let's see, the up button goes to Wi-Fi. Gives you some info on that. I tap the power button again, should change modes. So we're now in photo mode. And then we've got all these different options. So photo and video, playback, video lapse, slow record, photo lapse, and burst mode. Underwater, FPV, motion detection, car mode, remote control, setup. So let's go ahead and take a look at the setup. Resolution, by default again 1080p 60. You can go down to 1080p 30, 720, 120, 720, 60, 720, 30, or VGA 240, and as high as 4K 24 FPS. We'll just leave it on 1080p 60 for now. Loop recording, set to three minutes at the moment. You can set it to five minutes, 10 minutes, or off. Go ahead and set it to off. FOV, right now it's set to off. You can do wide, middle, and narrow. So you can kind of, I think, digitally change the field of view you're getting. WDR, you can get your dynamic range to be higher if you'd like. The gyro sensor, you can turn on or off. Audio, you can turn on or off. Volume, you can change. Timestamp, on or off. I'm gonna turn it off. TV mode, NTSC or PAL. On-screen display, on or off. Video file format, MP4 or MOV. Bit rate, high, medium, or low. We're gonna make it high. Double file on or off, not sure what that means. Power on record, that means if you wanted to use it as a dash cam, you technically could like that. Image size, you can change. Quality, you can change, we'll make that fine. Sharpness, you can make it sharper or less sharp. You can change the white balance, color settings, ISO sensitivity, you can take it up as high as 1600. Exposure compensation, raw, 
Let's turn raw on, that's interesting. Distortion correction, so you can fix the lens to be a little less fisheye. License, that would probably be the photographer information. Date and time, auto power off, keypad tone, please turn off. Date and time you can set though. It is definitely the wrong date and time. Light set, so you can make it brighter or dimmer. Screen savers, so you can turn the screen to a screen saver within a minute. Frequency, 50 or 60. Rotate if you wanted to have it turned upside down. Logo watermark, we don't need it. Language, Wi-Fi settings. Delete, so if you wanted to delete something that's already on it, there's nothing on it. Format your card, default settings, version information, and there's your version info, just in case you're curious. And that's that. So actually a lot of really cool features on here. And I just happened to notice on the front there's a status LED as well as being one on the top. Let me go ahead and put a card in here though. And it did recognize the card. It says 28.2 gigs free, so it should be ready to go. So without any further ado, let me go ahead and start a video. And looking at the screen, it does appear like it is recording now. This is definitely a lot smaller footprint to hold on to in terms of just sitting here talking to it. And in case you're curious, this is filming here in my office. You should be seeing and hearing 100% coming from the camera, not using the waterproof housing. It's just the raw camera itself at 1080p60 in decently bright studio lights. And yeah, taking a quick look at the footage that just played back, definitely not what I would call the absolute best quality anything I've ever seen. The footage looks good. The audio, again, sounds really rough. All of these little action cameras have pretty rough sound. I'm gonna go ahead and do another clip where I take it around and show you some different places. So have that. Here's a quick sample clip in a sort of, not dimly lit room, but sort of an average indoor room. A little bit of a slightly lower light sample. This is the baby's room and it's not got any lights on, just a little bit of natural light coming in through the shades. No light in the bathroom. You can see just how grainy it gets in really low light. And here's some outdoor footage. We got a lot of background noise. We got a lot of birds and animals and cicadas and everything making noise. So you can sort of see how it does in decent outdoor lighting. Everything looks kind of washed out on the screen. Although the colors look like they're all right. Let's see, a little bit of skin tone here, a little bit more skin tone just to give you sort of an idea of what a person would look like. I'm in the shade right now, so that's not maybe going to be as good as it would be in full sunlight, but there you go. And I went ahead and turned the gyro sensor on. I'm curious to see if this makes a difference. It actually does have a little hand on the screen that looks like it's uh, doing some sort of stabilization. So I'm gonna move it up and down. Yeah, it definitely does stabilize just a little bit. I'm moving my hand a lot more than this is showing, a lot faster do some shaking. I'm kind of jump bouncing around a little. Doesn't look like it's actually shaking that much on screen. Cool. And you know what? That's probably where I'm going to wrap things up for today. All in all, compared to some of the other ones that I've taken a look at, this one seems to have an awful lot more modes to it, a lot more ways that you can utilize it between the dash cam, the FPV options, the Wi-Fi options, which I haven't even experimented with yet. I have gone ahead and installed the app though, and it did work, although the battery apparently just died on me. Looks like you can control a lot of settings in there. And the app was pretty easy to find using the barcodes here on the back, but actually I just went to the Play Store and searched for SJ Cam, and it was the one that was in Chinese. The app though, it all seemed to be in English, so I'm pretty good with that. But again, as I was saying it has an awful lot of features a lot of different options built into the software it's got a slightly smaller form factor a little easier to hold in the hand than some of the ones I've used previously which is kind of nice but as with every other action camera that I've used the audio quality is just not great but you've seen some of the sample clips I've shown here and if you would like I can actually upload additional clips for this maybe just upload them unlisted for the 2k and the 4k interpolated 1080p 60 is a good representative sample for most of these I've been doing though so if you have any questions comments or concerns about this let me know down in the comment section below. It's available for about 130 bucks over on Amazon in whatever color you want. And the biggest reasons I was interested in looking at it are one, the form factor, because it is so much different than the other ones I've looked at. And two, the SJ Cam brand, because this has come so highly recommended. So again, make what you will of the footage that I've shown you. Take a look at the link down in the description if you're interested in picking one of these up for yourself. Thanks so much to SJ Cam for providing this camera. Thanks to you guys for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to receive more, and I will see you again next time.